Hey guys, I hope you liked the last video where we installed the certificate authority and also installed the C, um, uh, SSL in the IS server. Now, in this video, what I'm going to concentrate is uh, basically to modify the ISO file in such a way that it would suit your environment where you are installing your call manager. As you know, by default, the call manager would need the recommended configuration, the hardware configuration as provided by Cisco. If it is not met uh, with the recommended configuration, then your installation will not proceed. Now, in this video, what I'm going to show you is like how to modify the ISO file in such a way that you can uh, use uh, whatever uh, um, file size or whatever the virtual machine size you would like to uh, in order to you know proceed with installation. So now uh, let me show, uh, before we do that, like uh, let us create a virtual machine for our call manager and then we will modify the ISO file. So I'll go again uh, and go to the UC collabing here folder and then create, go to file, a uh, new virtual machine and then typical, click on next. I will install the operating system later and then I'll choose the Linux version and then in this version here i'll choose reddit enterprise linux 664 for our thunder tax uh, virtual machine ideally uh if you have a ova file you can use the ova file to deploy it but uh, ova file is mostly used in the production systems where it'll uh you know by default uh use the recommended uh, file size as mentioned by Cisco but here in our case we are not using the recommended file size uh, hence that's the reason we are modifying the hardware requirements as per our uh, choice now I'll cl click on next in this case in the virtual machine name I'll put it as UCC IN CUCMA uh, if you remember the virtual machine whose DNS entry what we had created was uh, Let's verify. It should have been the same what I have typed here. UCC IN CUCMA. Uh, UCC IN CUCMA. That's the right one what we have used. And I'm going to put it in uh, my folder where I want it to, you know, reside under. Yes, so this is the folder under UC Collabing's VM and click on next. In the hard drive size, I'll just choose 110 GB and click on next. And now in the customized hardware, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, and select the ISO file which we are going to use. So let me see the ISO file here. So I'm going to use this use install uh, ISO file. Basically, this file is not in not bootable as well. So I'll use this file. This file is not bootable. So we'll also make the file as bootable and also, you know, uh, modify this file in such a way that it'll suit our hardware requirements. And in the network adapter, I'll choose bridge and close and finish. First, I wanted to show you that uh, when I try to power this on, this will not boot up because this is not a bootable uh, file. So as you see here, uh, it is showing me as uh, uh, it is not giving me a boot option or it is not uh, going to the boot and you know installing the call manager. It is stuck here in the client Mac address. So what I'll do is I'll power off this device here. And now I'll first make this file as bootable. So I'll open this file with ultra ISO. So I'm using this ultra ISO as an application in order to make it bootable. Now, if you see here, there would be file in under ISO Linux and the file will be called as ISO Linux bin. What I'll do is I'll extract this file from this particular folder to my folder where I am, where, where I have kept the uh, ISO file. Now, uh, I'll go here and make this a bootable file, load boot file. I'll click on this and then I'll choose this folder and choose ISO Linux bin and then save boot file. Sorry, 
uh, I need to just save this file actually. Now, once I save this file and turn on the virtual machine, the file, uh, the virtual machine should boot, but it should not allow us to install because uh, the installation will uh, only happen if the hardware requirements are met. So I just wanted to you demonstrate to you so that you understand what I'm trying to do. So at this moment, the step what we have done is we are just trying to make it a bootable file. Uh, we can, uh, in this process itself, we could have uh, modified the file, but I purposely didn't modify the file, uh, file so that uh, I wanted to show you the error where it uh, hits you um, uh, unsupported hardware. Okay, it's almost 89% done. So it is about to complete in a couple of seconds. So this is completed. So let me turn on the virtual machine again. So I'll just power it on because this file is already in place. Uh, it says uh, image check some error. Sorry, uh, there is some error in the boot file or maybe there's some error in the file itself. Oh, my bad. Uh, I forgot to make this uh, checked. So it was unchecked earlier. So I just checked it and saved this file. Uh, that was the reason we hit that error. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Uh, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this file now. So once this file is saved, then when we power on the virtual machine, it should boot now. Okay, let's power on the virtual machine. So now if you see the boot has started, so uh, we are able to boot successfully. So now it'll try to, you know, uh, see if we are using the right hardware resources. So let's wait for it to detect uh, hardware. Okay, so I don't want to do the media testing. Skip. Okay, unsupported hardware detected. We'll click on okay. Let's still see if uh, we are able to pass the hardware or not. So if you see here, um, we can install the call manager, but we cannot install Unity connection from uh, the same system, the same hardware. Okay, so what we are going to do is, uh, <clears throat> as Unity connection is not being supported in this hardware, we are going to modify the ISO file in such a way that it will also allow Unity connection to be installed within uh, with the same hardware uh, limit. So let's power this uh, machine off. And now what we are going to do is we are going to uh, use the same ISO file. I think it's already opened. We'll go with the mm, there was an option. Sorry, not this one. It's in quite a while I have, yeah, in under install, config, and call manager product. We'll extract this file from here. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to open this file using Notepad++. Now, if you see here, uh, the minimum hardware is like a 20, for it, if uh, the if we are not using 2048, your call manager, this is uh, 
this is under call manager section so if you are not using 2048 minimum so the installation will not allow let's say if our call manager uh, hardware ram we have put it as 1024 so it will not allow us to install because that's the um, a ram that's required so what we can do is we can make it star and make it valid bl okay so now it means like if you are using 512 mb of ram also it should allow the installation to happen this is for the call manager section let's go for the unity section as well in the below okay so let's make this for unity connection as well so right now if you see here this is what is required for the unity connection now what we are going to do is let's make this as well and then try to save this and see Okay, I'll save this file and then I'm going to put this file back into the same ISO. Yes to all. Save. Now let's power on the virtual machine and let's see if this time we are able to see Unity connection as hardware or not in the installation itself. We'll skip the media testing So now, as you see earlier, uh, it was not prompting Unity connection for to be installed because that product was not supported. But after modifying the file, now you can install uh, Unity connection as well. Uh, so now if you have a limited RAM also, let's say 512 MBP, MB, and then also you can install Call Manager and Unity connection both. Uh, so the same way you have to modify the files for your presence, your uh, UCCX as well, and you should be able to install uh, all your applications within the limited hardware resources i hope uh, this video is helpful for you in the next video what we are going to do is we are going to proceed with the installation of the call manager and then uh, we'll uh, also install the subscriber in the subsequent videos thank you for watching this video